Oklahoma has already seen its first freeze of the season. That means winter weather isn't too far behind. David Payne is walking us through what to expect this season in his winter forecast. All right, Oklahoma, here we are, fire up, talking about my winter forecast. And uh, wow, what a year it's been. We had record number of tornadoes back in February. We had big tornado days in your March, into your April, into May, even into June. We had flooding. It was a year of big hail here in Oklahoma. And then summer came roaring on with all kinds of heat. Here's the deal. We've been analyzing the data from around the globe, crunching the numbers, putting it all together to look at exactly what's going to happen this winter. Let's jump right into it. Here now is my winter forecast for Oklahoma. And with that, well, let's just, uh, let's just jump right into it here. All right, so going back the last nine winters here in Oklahoma City, uh, last year, not a whole lot of snow. We had a little bit of ice, a little bit of sleet, but uh, we had 3.4 inches of snow last winter. Now, the winter before that, it was a big one. It was a winter to remember with over 22 inches of snow in Oklahoma City. But notice, going back the last nine years, some winters, lots of snow. Some winters, not so much. We had some ice in there, so um, it can vary a lot. Our biggest month, when we're looking at our snow averages, February, that's when we, on average, pick up our highest amount of snow. So we shall see, but uh, it just, it gets higher from here on out. All right, looking back again, last year, 3.4, the least ever in 1934, we had a trace of snow that winter in Oklahoma City. And the most ever, 1948, 25.2 inches of snow. That's a lot of snow. Keys to the forecast, we have a strong to a very strong El Nino underway. It's ongoing right now. More on that coming up. That will give us, though, an active storm track, okay, across Oklahoma. Increasing snow cover to the north of Oklahoma will play a key role in our weather. And the polar vortex, an area of low pressure up near the Arctic Circle and the North Pole, when it weakens, that will enable cold air to come south down into the U.S. Another part of this, once again, is going to be El Nino underway. It is bath water down here. You could jump out of a boat and take a bath in the Pacific right now. This is very warm water, and that's going to help keep that jet stream a little farther south. And also, another key to this, above average snow cover in two parts of Canada and farther north, the snow is beginning to stack up. And when it's cold, it gets colder because of lots of snow on the ground. And that just keeps the air chilly, and that air will eventually, again, come south. So last winter, really the last three winters, we had a La Nina underway. This winter, it's going to be, and it already is, an El Nino, and that will carry us right through your winter. So on average, a normal winter with an El Nino pattern, wetter than normal across the southern states, to include Oklahoma, cooler than normal across the southern states, with a polar jet dipping south from time to time. So this is the way we think it's going to shape up. Polar jet will be coming out of, again, the polar regions into Canada, diving down into the U.S. This will happen off and on. At the same time, the subtropical jet will be strong across the southern states to include Oklahoma. So here's your storm track where your storms are going and moving through, and then you tap into that cold air. Well, you're going to see more winter weather. So my winter forecast as far as precipitation above average in Oklahoma, much above down through parts of southern Oklahoma and Texas, average to below average to our north and east. So overall, it looks wet. And as far as your temperatures for December, January, February, and early March, uh, below average across Oklahoma and much below just to our south. So a little bit colder with a little more precipitation. So put that together, snow forecast here above average for the south including Oklahoma. That will include some ice and some sleet in there. But I think we have, again, a pretty good winter overall. So above average precipitation, which will include rain, snow, and a mix below average on your temperatures. We'll have some nicer weather in between, but some big ups, some big downs. It begins and ramps up in December, but really, really pegs it in January and February. The drought will improve and a few big ice and snow events coming our way. So what kind of winter overall on a scale from one to nine, one being not a big deal, to a nine being Katie bar the door. We're going to put this winter right now at about a six. So if you like winter weather, fire up. 
Here we go. So yes. Yeah. Yes, no. we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Get the kids snowball. Say it again, say it again, say it again. What's wrong snowball with you? fight. I know. Well, the one which I don't remember, it was one of those, and, and you bought all those shoes, and we had like about a half an inch. Yeah, the snow for boots the kids. for my kids. Yeah. yeah. We, we just had They've this talk. They've outgrown them. Yeah, because we, we were talking about whether yeah. I, I haven't bought any like snow sleds or things like that, you know, like the fun yeah. toys for the kids. Yeah, because I've been waiting, but it sounds like it's time to time to buy. This is it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I, I think we'll have we'll have time. I think the, the worst of winter comes the second half and uh, we'll have a, we'll have a lot of moisture. The question I would say talking off air um, if um, if we have a couple of events where it's mid 30s, we're just barely above freezing, not only here but several thousand feet up, we end with a couple of events that are just a cold rain versus being a nice big heavy wet snow. Does the El Nino give you any indication of snow or ice? No, just moisture. Okay. And then yeah, with El Nino, the cold air, a lot of it stays north, but I think we'll have enough. It's a weird El Nino. They're, they're all different. They're all thumbprints. They all okay. look different. Um, this one is warm down south, but also warm in the North Pacific. Usually it's colder there, so it looks, yeah, it's, it's a little bit unique. Okay. Well, so I know you'll I like track unique, it all. I like weird, and I like different. That's why I work with you guys. So <laughs> Thank it looks, you, David. It so looks kind. Good. Which one's unique and which one's weird? <laughs> weird and weirder. <laughs> okay, there we Both go. Both of you. See what we put up with? Anyway, I know, right? 